Greetings, and welcome to another OutSystems how-to video. In this video, you'll learn how to differentiate between different environments, for example, production and non-production environments, using a Forge component called Environment Sticker. Let's get started. We've all probably been in situations where we maybe we're working on a small team, uh, maybe we're working on an internal application, and we have to work in multiple environments. We might work in dev and run some tests on data in test, and sometimes maybe even we might actually, as developers, have to touch production. That's rare, but it happens. When we're in that situation, it's really important to be able to tell the difference between the environments and to know which environment we're in so that we don't inadvertently change production data thinking that we're in development or test. There's a Forge component called Environment Sticker that comes in handy here, and I'll show you how we're going to use it. I'm in Service Studio, and I've opened the Environment Sticker project from the Forge, downloaded it to my environment, and opened it up inside of Service Studio. The project itself consists of a couple of web blocks, as well as several test screens. So the web blocks allow you to very easily add a visual indication of whether you're in a non-production environment. So for example, if you're in dev, it will give you the name of your uh, dev environment if you use the environment sticker underscore name. And if you use environment sticker underscore circle, it's just going to give you a nice graphic image that indicates that you're currently running in a non-production environment. In addition to these web blocks, there are several test screens that just allow you to test out the functionality. So you can test the environment sticker circle, you can test out the environment sticker name, and you can also test out some of the methods that are available in the logic tab, uh, including the activation server info, the development mode, whether you're in dev or non-dev, and the environment name. So these are all pieces that are available from the environment sticker project, and you can use those inside of your application. Switching over to my environment sticker test project, I first added a dependency on the environment sticker project inside my test project. Then I scaffolded out some data for customers. So if I go ahead and right click and view data, you can see I've got some customer data, things like name, phone, mobile, etc., um, that I can use as sample data in my application. Then I just use that data to scaffold out a home screen with a simple table records widget and some customer detail information that will allow me to edit that information. Now you notice on both the home screen and the details screen, I've gone ahead and added both the environment sticker circle as well as the environment sticker name components to these screens so that I'll have visual indications of whether I'm running in a development or non-development environment. I've also added a text variable to each of these, and inside of my preparation, I'm using a function called environment name that's exposed by the environment sticker application to return the environment name and then pass that back to the user using a feedback message. So I can tell exactly what type of environment I'm running in, no matter where I'm running. Now I've already published this application to my development environment, my test environment, and my production environment. So let's take a look at each of those environments and see what, what this application actually looks like in each environment. We'll start with the development environment, and we'll simply load the application from development and see what the output is. So we can see that feedback message that I mentioned says I'm currently running in development, and I've just added a little caution, use caution when updating data. Note that the environment name is displayed as part of one of the widgets that comes out of the environment sticker project. And then I've also got the UI indicator that I'm in a development environment. So in this case, it's very obvious that I'm in a development environment. I could style this component to look the way that I want it to look, really up to me. One other thing to note is I've used the title property of my screen to set the title to home and then the name of the environment that I'm running in. So now let's switch over to our testing environment. So we'll load our testing environment. 
And we'll notice that we get the feedback message that's telling us that we're running in our testing environment. Again, it warns us to use caution when we're updating data. But in this case, I don't have a visual indicator because I'm not in my development environment. So my testing environment is not marked as a development environment. So I get similar feedback, but I don't have the visual indicator. Now let's switch over to our production environment and we'll load that version of the application. Note that we get the title bar indicating that we're in production. We get the warning, you are running in production. Use caution when updating data. So hopefully that would give me the indication that if I were to go in and start modifying data, oh hey, I'm running in production. I don't actually want to modify the data here uh, because this could be production data. So that's a quick example of how you can use a Forge component called Environment Sticker to differentiate between different environments and help avoid inadvertently updating data that you shouldn't in your applications. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our OutSystems YouTube channel and stick around for more videos. Thanks.